He is one of the best in the business, and uh, I meant what I said when I tweeted out this weekend watching him play uh, against the Arizona Cardinals that um, the the league's better when he's up and he's active and he's balling out. The man who helped create uh, National Tight Ends Day, the tight end of the San Francisco 49ers, joining us prior to the Monday night, a huge one for both teams against the Rams, the great George Kittle. How are you, George? Rich. Wow. Thanks for the intro. I'm excited to be here. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it makes my Wednesday morning a little bit better now when I get to talk to you today. I appreciate that Wednesday. Yeah, it's normally known that middle, that middle of the week. You don't really want to deal with it. And uh, I, you and I are just helping each other get through it. So I appreciate that. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, How's it going? How's it going? Well, Walk me see, through it. Uh, I mean, let's see. Body's feeling good. I'm excited to be back playing football. In mm-hmm. the last couple of weeks, being, uh, being out has been tough. But, uh, you know, it just felt good to be back out there in front of our great fans and playing with the boys again. And, you know, we didn't get the dub, and it wasn't the, you know, the game that we wanted to play. Um, you know, so disappointed in that. But, uh, you know, I'm optimistic, too. We had to play on Monday Night Football, and I missed that one last year. So I'm very excited that uh, I get an opportunity to play again uh, the only game of the day on Monday Night Football. So uh, very optimistic. Okay. And so um... – what do you lend uh, to the three and five start? The, the reason for it is there one? Is there something that you guys are talking about uh, on this front that you want to just throw out there right now, uh, George? I mean, to me, I think uh, we just need to play better. I mean, that, that, that's all it is at the end of the day. I mean, you look at the tape of every single game that we've lost, and even the games that we've won. I just don't feel like we've we've played at the level that you know the standard that we've set. You know, I know we have a couple guys that are, are playing a consistent at a higher level. I mean, I need to elevate my game. Um, I think, you know, I think everybody can just play a little bit better. Um, you just look at it, whether it's drops. I mean, uh, I had a bad fumble. You had a bad fumble. You know, they didn't set our defense up for failure. So it just, hey, you got to eliminate those mistakes to give ourselves a chance because we're not even doing that. I mean, Coach Shanahan's calling plays to give us opportunities, and we're just not really taking advantage of those things. And so I really just think it's, at the end of the day, we just need to play better and, uh you know, you could say folks on the little things and, uh, you know, go back to work. But, you know, we have been working. I think we've had a lot of really good practices, and we just got to get to correlate to the game. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about that. Like I said, you know, Monday Night Football, we have the whole nation looking at you. It's a, it's a wonderful time to, you know, get the, boat, get the boat going in the right direction. Yeah, that's right. I mean, and it's you and Debo and Ayuk. I mean, that's – you're back. I mean, you're all there, right? And so uh, – and Jimmy G knows you. You know him. The, the pieces are there. I just, you know, just give it. Can you give just the fans a little bit of an insight when you're just like, it just, when it just doesn't all click and, and how you keep fighting through it? Like, how do you do that? You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's, I mean, it's frustrating. You know, you, you have all the pieces. I you know I think that we have a lot of really good skill position. I think we have a fantastic O line. Um, and I think Jimmy G has given us the, opportunities to make plays he's putting the ball in the right spots i think the last two weeks he's played really well uh save for a couple passes you know and uh i just think that uh you know it is it's frustrating when your skill guys you know when you're not making all the plays when you're not having um you know all those pitch and catches like you should um it's frustrating but like i said you know, i think we're working really hard i think we're having really good practices and it just has to correlate and you know the way you just get through that is you know it is a couple things you know i think one of it i think we have a very mentally tough team i do i think uh, we have some vets in here that have been through a lot of stuff that are mm-hmm. leading the way for the young guys and um you know it is difficult but um at the end of the day you know i'm a professional football player I live my dream out every single day so yeah. it's hard not to be positive and so you just got to bring that energy energy around and um continue to work hard and get better every single day I love and that. i think that's what we're doing and i think that we will continue to get better and you know, like i said um the great thing about the NFL is you get another you get another opportunity in the next week, and so if you keep sulking about the last one, it's just going to hinder you from succeeding at the next one. And um, I'm very excited about this Monday Night Football game against the Rams because you know division rival, they're really good, they're rolling. Um, hey, but we've had their number the last couple of years, and um, I'm excited to see what we put together uh, tomorrow when we go in for all of our meetings and stuff. And it's just going to be another fun game for us to go out there and play. Is Coach more ornery? Is he more pissed? How's Coach? How's he handle it? Let's let's see. Let's see uh, these that's days. great, Coach Shannon. He, he's great. Um, he's very consistent. He's the same guy every single day. You know, okay. he. Uh, I think it's good that we had an extra twenty four hours to watch film. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, let him watch it a couple times. But no, he's, he's all right. He's uh, you know he's obviously in the same boat as we are. He's disappointed that we're not winning games. Um, but you know I think, you know we're underperforming a little bit. But 
I think that we need, you know, obviously we need to win more games, and he knows that. And I think that um, the good thing about Coach Shannon is, I think he's built a really good staff, and they're going to do everything they can to make it easier on the guys for him to understand it, or you know, just dial up some more things to give us an opportunity to win a game. All right, so George Kittle, uh, I, I, you know, usually doesn't happen this way, but uh, if Aaron Donald's on the edge, do you chip him? Is that what you do? What do you do, George? Um, do you give him a little chip? I can to make him laugh. <laughs> now, not, th- not oh. anger him. Okay, because he's he's really good at football, and <laughs> um, he's large, and so I'm just going to do everything yeah. I can to you know put a smile on his face. Okay. And I'll let him know, hey, Aaron, I might be chipping in this play. Don't throw me to the ground. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that works. But right. just relax a little bit. So you got to bring your A material, right? And we're not talking football. You could bring your A comedy game to the game here, right? I, I appreciate that. You, yes. you know, you got you to play at an incredibly high level on the football field every every Sunday. But, right. you know, if you can bring a little bit more into it, you know, like if you can bring a little bit of that into it, mm-hmm. you can distract some guys. You never know. But, uh, you know. Aaron, I love competing against Aaron because he's he's one of one. And when you're at Sheriff Football Field with him, um, it's incredible just to watch him work um, and to compete against him. So I'm very excited about that. You know, Vaughn Miller is going to be awesome. That's right. Um, yeah. That's going to be so much fun. Love competing against Jalen Ramsey. I mean, like I said, I love going against Ramsey. And I'm excited to play against Cooper Cup. Uh, definitely one of my boys and uh, the season he's been having. So that, that'll be, uh, I mean, just absolutely incredible. He just cooks dudes left and right like it's no one's business. Um and so I'll be excited to watch that in person as well. Cups uh, one of your you know, boys. It, Cups one of your boys too, huh? You have a lot of. I mean, you 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 have a lot. Uh, you have a lot of friends in this game, George. That's for sure. You know what? I, I'm lucky to be in a profession where uh, I, I love almost all of my uh, all the people I work with. I'm, I'm a big fan of. And, you know, I grew up a football fan, so I appreciate when guys are playing at a high level or people are you know just playing good. Uh, I like watching tape, and so whenever you notice those guys that are playing at a high level. Uh, you know, they deserve to be rewarded for it and they deserve to be talked about. I crushed me, George, that you weren't out there for National Tight Ends Day this time oh around. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's your day, you're, man. You're and, by, me. and by the way, every, I think every tight end scored that weekend. Did you notice that? That literally it was the greatest weekend for tight ends this year so far and may have it been. Was. I mean, that actually happened. There was an actual physical and and tangible on the scoreboard celebration of National Tight Ends Day this past it year. It was. You know, you just got to speak into existence, Rich. You know, we said it's <laughs> National Tight End Day. It was National Tight End Day, and the boys went off. And you just, you love to see it. So, I'm sorry. So did I admit, it, it's, there's no plural. It's National Tight End Day. That's what it is? I heard Whatever you, you want it to be, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, because I called it tight ends, I want to make sure that we're good. You know, I want to make sure that it's all good. You yeah, know, it's, it is uh, what it is. You know, plural, non-plural. It can be specific, very vague. I love we're it. tight ends, man. We all kind of look the same. We all kind of do the same stuff. Mm-hmm. Coaches get as confused with other players. <laughs> It's called fire number. It is what it is. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and Olsen's killing it in the booth. I don't know if you've caught any of his games that he's calling on Fox. Oh, no, I listened. Uh, cause I, yeah, because I was out uh, three weeks with a bye week, too. So okay. I got to listen to him a couple times. And uh, I'm, he's, he's fun to listen to. Uh, I think he gives a lot of really good insight. Uh, so you just give him an opportunity to talk about the tight end, and I think he can ramble for about 20 minutes, which I really appreciate. <laughs> He's been killing it. Uh, um, I-, I would be remiss if I did not ask you about the previous Monday Night Football game in which uh, Cassius Marsh of the Chicago Bears got a 15-yard flag because he did start sauntering towards the Pittsburgh bench and stared at them. What did you think of that, George Kittle? Oh, Rich. Uh, well, no, I think football is a very emotional sport. I think um, I think you try. I think you try all day, all year round. You train as much as you possibly can, um, and so you're going to be very emotional. And uh, whether it's, um, I mean, whether you're celebrating, whether you're staring at a guy, whether you're flexing at a guy, I think it's hard to you know not let all that emotion take over when you make a big time play. I mean, I, I know. I mean. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if I got flagged for my first down celebration because uh, usually when I get a first down, you know, a big play, you like to get up, spin the ball, throw a first down celebration up. I mean, it is what it is. And, um, you know, it's tough that guys get flagged for that. No, I, I, I feel like I, I kind of understand what the league's doing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a very emotional sport. The, the amount of time, like I said, that you put into this game, the grind, uh, 
early mornings, late nights, studying the things your body goes through, the things people say to you on social media. You know, every once in a while you want to let that energy out and you know, be excited and be happy about what you're doing out there and to get flagged for it at a pivotal time, I think is, is brutal and it's kind of soul crushing. Yeah. I, especially Marsh's story. I don't know if you're fully uh, up to speed on that. I, I wasn't at the time that he was a Steeler cut by the Steelers. And then he was on the bears practice squad elevated for that game and then made that play. I think it was a kind of, how do you like me now stare in the direction of the bench? Not, not, not like, Hey, I'm better than you. You know what I'm saying? It's just the whole thing was just, I, I, I I I I I despised it. I hated it. You know. I, I, but I also don't want a player standing over another guy and barking at him either. But that wasn't that. You know what I'm saying, George? Um. Yeah. No. I. I mean. I, I agree. Like the. You know. You're standing over a guy. You're yelling at him in the face. Yeah. I mean. I don't. I don't know if there's really. You don't need to do that mm-hmm. again. Like. You know. I. It's football. Like I've. I've had some stuff happen to me out there that I'm like. Ah. You know. It is what it is. You know. He's being like, it is what it is. It's annoying, but whatever. So, like, I mean, I can kind of see that, but I mean, unless it's doing something derogatory or doing something, you know, um, disrespectful. I mean, that's kind of my thing is as long as you're not disrespecting the other person, I don't really think there's that big of an issue. And I think standing there staring at a guy is not disrespectful. No, putting your face mask in his face mask and telling him that he sucks. Yeah, that's probably pretty disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. <when you're> <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, it, it's, uh, I just I hope that there's more consistency going forward. George Kittle, you're the man. Uh, what do you do in your spare time? What do you What do you and your wife uh, binge watch? What are you watching on TV these days? Anything that I should know about? Oh my gosh, I am so glad that you asked. Okay. Wow. All right. We actually so we just got caught up. We're finally caught up. There's two shows that me and Claire watch. It's we're on Yellowstone. Okay. Incredible. Okay. So much fun. Um, and then we're also watching Seal Team. I don't know if you watch that, but it's about Navy Seals. Yeah. I'm a big fan of it because uh, one of the main actors is a Niners fan, Max Thoreau. So uh, he uh, he threw my bobblehead in on uh, in his like his cage that he keeps all like all of his weapons in the is show. That right? And and this last episode, they made a Fred Warner reference after he tackled a guy. Awesome, oh. super cool. You know, Boreanaz is an Eagles fan, George. So oh, I know he is. Trust okay. me. I, uh, <laughs> He wears his Philly stuff all the time. I'm like, hey, Max, throw a Niners hat on or something. Yeah. <laughs> but you like Yellowstone, right? Costner's great in that, dude. He is awesome oh, in Rip, that. Rip is my guy. Okay. Well, okay. I, Those I are your two shows. Have you checked out Ch- Ted Lasso? Did you ever see that one? Um, Ted Lasso? Yeah. Rich, I feel like if you know me, you know that I've watched of it. Of course. Before. That's what I figured. I figured. <laughs> yeah, that's like I, I figured. Vibes. But... It's funny. It's great. Like, you watch every show and you just have a smile on your face. Like, right. You're sitting there like, why am I smiling so hard? You remind me of the, of the players like football is life with a big smile on and just go out and do your thing, man. <laughs> you're that guy for the NFL, George. Football is life and you smile and you go do your business. That's you. Hey, That's you. I appreciate it. You're excited. That is a compliment. I Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I mean, you got it. You got it. Take care of yourself, George Kittle. Appreciate the time. You be well, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday Night Football. Oh, I can't wait for it. And I'll see you at uh, Titan University next year. Yeah. Well, as you know, I will be in charge of the curriculum, however you see fit, since you <laughs> just told me it, National Tight End Day is whatever I want to make of it. So I'm yeah, in. You know, National Tight End Day, National Tight End Day, National Tights Day. You know, wherever. <laughs> <I'm not good. laughs> you George, have a good one. George Kittle, everybody, right here oh, on the Rich Eisen Show prior to Monday Night Football. <laughs> hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 